Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mohammed al -Shoti, and my project is can you exercise your lungs without knowing it? I think children can exercise their lungs by blowing into the balloons attached to straws which are also attached to cars so the cars can race. My hypothesis is that I think children can exercise their lungs by blowing into balloons attached to straws which are also attached to toy cars so they can race. My background research was that many children might not be getting enough lung exercise in Canada in the winter time. So I designed a new fun car, car race powered by balloons to give all children lung exercise. The materials of this project are some toy cars, a track that the toy cars will go down, some balloons, some straws, and some elastic bands. My dad said that if it works well, it could also be used in a doctor's office to test the lung function of children. I think that's great. The manipulated variables of my project are the lungs of children, the distance traveled, and the speed of the car in the rocket balloon race. The responding variables in this project are the rate of breathing of a child at the beginning and end of the race. The controlled variables of this project are the toy car and the track it will go down. The materials of this project are some toy cars, a track made for the toy cars, some balloons, some straws, some elastic bands, and some wood. Now I'm going to introduce you to the materials that I had talked about earlier. Here is the racetrack that, that me and my dad made. See, we also use the wood for the sides, the floor, here, and also we use some wood. And then, and then we use some nails, and then, and then we use some um, popsicle sticks to make, make the front part kind of like slanted. Now here are some of my toy cars that I'm using. Here's one. Here's some balloons that me and, my, me and my father and my brother made. See, there's already one on one of my toy cars. I could just take that off. Then pull off this. See? Now, now I'm going to demonstrate to you who, what would happen when you when you put this in here. Okay, wait one second. Ta da Now it's time to point it this way. On the dress. Okay, didn't go that way. So let's try this one. particularly fast. Very fast. Here is how you're supposed to blow the balloon. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you're supposed to blow through to get the air into the balloon. Now we're supposed to do this 
for three minutes and then I can check your, your um, lung strength if it's gone higher or lower. Now I am about to demonstrate how you are supposed to blow through the straw to get the air to the balloon. Now we're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do that for three times to see if you could get it up up to up to the finish line. And also, after the three minutes, you I I am going to see if your 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 breathing levels are stronger or weaker. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you again. But first, see you have. When you're, you're letting go, you have to let go lightly, or else it's not going to go that far. I did it hard that way, so now I'm going to do it lightly. I'm going to ask them if it's fun or not, and then they're most likely going to say yes, yes. and then I'm going to measure if, the, if their um, breathing rate went higher or lower. After playing the game for three minutes, I'm going to ask them if they realize that they've been exercising their lungs while having so much fun. I think it's a great thing that I've invented this game. It's, it's really fun, and it, and it exercises your lung muscles. I think this game is very fun, and it's also very healthy, too. You get to exercise your lung muscles while you're having fun. Bye-bye, and thank you.